everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new. I hope you've been well these past few weeks. It's not been the best time for me but I'm feeling better right now. I thought I was going to take a longer break from YouTube. It's been a couple of weeks since the last time I posted something but I'm feeling much better right now and I'm not sure how long this is going to last. So I wanted to use this sudden burst of energy to film something for you guys because I recently got a bunch of things from the latest Kill Star collection and I hope you like it because it's all velvet and lace, romantic, vampy stuff, you know, lots of long things and that's personally my favorite style when I go out, although I don't do that very often but when I do go out that's my personal style so I am super excited to show you all these things and I know some of you will like it as well because I usually get comments asking for more romantic stuff and I'm so so happy to finally have more in that line because it's not so easy to find. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking because I'm sorry I'm boring you and you're here for the clothes and not to hear me rumbling. So this is the first item that I picked and it's the Sweet Misery Bondage Bodysuit and this is what it looks like in real life. Oh, this is from my rug. Sorry. I'm not sure you can see it that well right now, so I'm gonna try it on and I'll be right back. First impressions, I love it. The design is really beautiful. I think it's quite flattering. And the only thing I don't like that much is that, as usual, Killstar sizes run slightly big, so this one isn't extra small, but I don't wanna turn around because you're gonna see too much. But it's quite big in here. Maybe later I can show you when I'm wearing a skirt with it. But this part is, I mean, maybe you can see it like this, it's quite big for me. It's not really a problem and it's probably because I'm very short, but I just wanted to let you know. By the way, I am 159 in centimeters, which is roughly 5'3 for those of you in the US. So I'm already expecting that things that are going to be designed for someone slightly taller than me. But yeah, so because it's an excess, maybe it would be slightly smaller. But the good thing, and I say good, which is something relative good for me, is that the caps are quite small. I am in between an A and a B, depending on the size for, for my back that I pick. So I am grateful when brands make really small caps. I know this is not the most convenient for some of you, but <laughs> for me it's a good thing. Um, just letting you know, if you're very small but have big boobs, maybe this is not going to be the right thing for you because I have small ones and it fits me quite right. Before I forget, I have to wear nipple covers. I think it's really beautiful if you're going to use it at home, but if you're planning to wear it as a top under a shirt or something like that, it's probably not the best design unless you want to wear nipple covers, in which case you won't have a problem because I don't think you can see anything right now. Overall, I'm really happy with this bodysuit. I love the top half. I think it's extremely flattering and I like it more than I thought I would before trying it on. But the lower part is slightly big for me. I'm not quite convinced with the fit in that area, but since I'm gonna wear it with something that's high-waisted, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Let's move on to the next item, because once you see the full outfit, this is gonna look a lot better. This is the Motlin Maxi Skirt, and I have it here. Um, once again, I don't think you can see that much when those things are not on, but I hope you can see the fabric, because the print is extremely beautiful, and if it's not really visible right now, I will make sure to film it in some other way. Now that I'm wearing everything, I can move freely without flashing anyone, and I really like this skirt. Let me show you, it's really cute. Again, I wish this was smaller. I don't know why those sizes are so big. I think this has been the smallest a brand offers. It's not really <laughs> the best. I'm really not super happy with Killstar sizes because they tend to run quite big except for a couple of items that I've seen are slightly smaller. Like for example, the bra I was wearing at the beginning of this video, I'm not sure if it was fully visible, but that one is really, really nice for my size, it's also an extra small. Everything else tends to run quite big, and since I'm very short, I am of course smaller in more or less every way, so their sizes tend to be slightly big for me, especially around the waist, which, I mean, it would look a lot better if it was tight and not, like, you know, I'm not even stretching it and I can, you know, add a lot of things here. Since both the top and the skirt are very stretchy, 
I would rather have them slightly smaller than my body so they would stretch and gave me that bodycon look that I really really like. I think that's a lot more flattering than having something stretchy that doesn't quite fit your body. But maybe that suits me and people prefer to have things that are slightly bigger because that gives them more range of movement. Although it wouldn't be a problem because this is very very stretchy. Overall, design wise, I think this is stunning. The fabric is probably my favorite thing that they have ever released and I really really like it. Then size wise, I'm not super happy once again. I think their waist parts are really really big and not meant for my body type. I know there are people who have a completely different body type and this would look great on them. But over the years I've realized that every brand has a different body type that they cater to and Killstar seems to be made for people who are slightly taller than me and also have a more straight body. That's why the waist is usually big on most items I get from them. I know this is something quite easy to fix and I might consider that because I really like the skirt and I wish it would fit me slightly better or I can always wear it with a corset and then it would be perfect. Let's complete this outfit because it's a little bit cold in here and I want to wear something on top of this. So I got this duster, I think it's called a night... woes night? Something like that. You will see it on screen probably. <laughs> and I have it here. By the way, I really like the new tags because they have an inverted cross and God, I don't want to cut them because they're so beautiful and I know I'm not going out so I'm not going to wear this in quite a while and I want to look at this and feel like I'm wearing something new when I finally have the chance to wear this out but yeah, I really really like it and just like this tag, they always include these little messages in here this one says ghouls just want to have fun and the cover is... oops the cover is the same as the skirt so I hope you can see it well with the lights and all that so let's put this on because it's quite cold it closes with three buttons on the front and it has these big but not so big sleeves the duster I was wearing at the beginning of the video has very long ones it was also from Killstar and it's not the most comfortable thing to wear when you have to eat or you know go to the toilet <laughs> but these sleeves are much better because they're like goth and cute but not super disruptive when you have to go out and live your life. So I'm super happy with this duster, it's really gorgeous, the fabric is amazing. I hope you can see it better now, this time I'm really happy about everything, the fit is just perfect. Let me show you like this. Of course it's not super tight which is a good thing considering it is a duster and it's meant to go over clothes so it doesn't really matter. And this would be the back. I really don't know what to say other than I am in love with it. This is just perfect and I really wish I had somewhere to go to because I want to wear this not just to be at home. By the way, it is very long. I'm wearing very high heels and it's almost floor length. So if you're shorter than me, you might have to alter it because it's meant for someone tall or meant to be worn with very, very high heels. Once more, absolutely no complaints about this one and I really hope they keep releasing more romantic long stuff like this because it's, as I said at the beginning of the video, my favorite style and I know not many brands do stuff like this. Anyway, now that I showed you the full outfit, let's move on to accessories because I still have a couple of things to show you. Like for example, this handbag, which I have here. Basically, I just received all of this, so I still haven't taken some things out of their bags. So let's unbox this together because I really like the way they ship their handbags. I'm counting this fabric back to protect it. And then it has an extra layer of paper wrapping. And then all the accessories or metal parts are covered with plastic to make sure it doesn't get damaged during transit. Here's the back, so let's see what it looks like on the inside. It comes with this strap, it's just for the core, it doesn't do anything. You can remove it, but it's just there for show. It has the kill stuff running in metal letters in here. And then it has this buckle. And the actual opening is this one. It comes with magnetic clasps and it has two of them. 
And then we have the strap in here. I'm not sure if it has one or two. They usually come with two, but I'm not really sure about this one. Okay, this one comes only with one strap. And it only has one pocket on the inside. I really hope you can see it, but it's quite tiny and my hand barely fits. Let me see if I can put my phone inside. All of my phone is quite big, so no. It really doesn't fit in there. Maybe if I forced it a little bit, but not with my phone because I don't want to scratch it. So let's put this on. You know, I once broke one of my nails with this. And ever since, I try to be really careful because I'm scared of doing that again. It's longer than I expected, but you can of course adjust it. I'm going to do that right now. By the way, let me show you the tags because I really, really like it. They have this coffin and then another one and the inverted cross I told you about before. These are new, at least this is the first time I got this ones. But I haven't gotten things from them in quite a while, so I'm not sure how long they've been doing that. Overall, I quite like it. I love the fabric. It's the same as the duster and the skirt I'm wearing right now. So I think everything goes perfectly together. I'm really happy with this outfit, to be honest. It's really, really in my style. The only thing is that I'm not such a huge fan of handbags that don't close with a zipper on the inside because I'm always paranoid that things are gonna spill out and I don't know, I am very, very... I get really nervous when I go out. So I know I tend to obsess over certain things more than I should. But if you're like me, bear in mind, it doesn't have a zipper on the inside. It only closes with this, but it's super tight. You know, you have to press it a little bit to close it. And the magnets are really strong so realistically i don't think it's gonna give you any trouble and finally sadly this is the last thing i'm gonna show you today i really wish i could have picked a lot more things because the new collection is really really cute the last thing i picked were these shoes and i think they're super cute and i really hope this time they're comfortable now that i know my size for kill star which by the way is a european 38 um this is i think think a UK 5 and a US 7. I'm usually US 8 for Thimonia, Dollskill, Pleaser and Ellie shoes. Probably something else as well. But I'm a US 7 for Killstar and La Moda. In any case, I'm gonna write down the sizes and the links for every article in the description box down below. So if there's anything that's not super clear in the video, you'll be able to check it down below. So let's open these shoes because I really, really want to see them and see how they look like in real life. This is the box. I'm obsessed with their boxes. I wish I had space in my room to place them because they're very beautiful. And here are the shoes. I love them. I love the paper inside because I thought it would be easier for you to see the pentagram if I didn't remove it. Otherwise, I wouldn't see anything because, you know, it's all black. But they are very similar to a pair that I showed you not too long ago. They have this zipper on the back, but they also have this strap on the side. But I think that's the kind that once you adjust it to your size, you don't have to touch ever again, which is perfect because I hate shoes with straps that you have to adjust every single time. So... Let me put these on and I will tell you what I think about them. Size wise, they fit quite right. I would have to check them with the ones I got last time because I know they're almost exactly identical, but the R on the top is completely different, which makes these ones a lot more comfortable. If you watched my previous Killstar haul, I told you I wasn't really happy about those ones because they have a design on the top where the strap is that makes them not the most comfortable. But these ones are different in that part, so they don't have the problem. I've only walked around my house for a couple of minutes with them, but they haven't given me any problems so far. In any case, if there is something that comes up with the shoes or with anything else that I tried on today, I will make sure to update this video and pin a comment, letting you know if I have any problem with basically anything I tried on today, because of course, this is a first impression whole video and there's absolutely nothing I can tell you about how long these things are gonna last. Anyway, I think this is something that you can use to go out and walk a lot because the bottom part is very soft so you won't feel so tired and the difference between the heel and the platform on the front is not that big. So again, this is something that you can use to walk for quite a while. I think these are quite comfortable for that. Design-wise, I prefer the other ones, but comfort-wise, these are much better. So of course, I will always pick comfort over design. 
to a certain extent because of course these are not sneakers but I think this is comfortable enough for you to do your life or whatever without having to worry about having a pair of extra shoes in your handbag so you can change when you cannot stand those any longer. So that was everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really happy to be able to film this because I really wasn't feeling my best in the past three weeks and that's why I took some time off YouTube. I really wasn't in the mood or in the right physical state to film anything but so far I am feeling much better. I hope this lasts but I'm not completely sure so crossing my fingers otherwise you won't be <laughs> hearing from me in quite a while. But I really hope I can continue doing these videos and taking photos because it's something I really like. Anyway, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, make sure to check out my other social media and Vesmedinia, both on Instagram and TikTok. And also on Facebook, but I feel like no one uses that anymore. And I tend to forget updating it because I don't either. But I'm there in case you want to check it out. So, thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you again in the next video. Bye!